Foreign worker who's already under the weight of grueling economic hardships, the announcement of the new minimum wage triggers many emotions except joy. The committee concluded as follows. One, an increase in the national daily minimum wage by 10% over the 2022 national daily minimum wage, which translates into a new national daily minimum wage of 14 cities 88 pesos. The effective date for the implementation of the 2023 National Daily Minimum Wage shall be 1st January 2023. In dollar terms, at the prevailing exchange rate as of November 18, this new minimum wage is approximately $1. By implication, this is supposed to be the daily minimum remuneration employers must pay workers in Ghana beginning January next year. 10% increment, which translates to one city 35 pesos more on the previous daily minimum wage in a country that has witnessed severe inflationary pressures pushing the price of everything through the roof, is only but a drop in the ocean. A trend of the daily minimum wage adjustments in Ghana shows an average of 10% increase yearly, at least from 2016 to date. What is, however, striking about this year's is how inflation has outpaced the minimum wage. Labor expert Austin Gami explains all these should have ideally reflected the new minimum wage, not to make the worker worse off. It's about restoration of the lost grounds as far as um, uh, inflation is concerned. Uh, in doing so, now that the inflation was projected uh, to be about 10% by end of year. And we ended up, as of today, at 40.4%. Obviously, to restore it will mean just simply knocking it off. And so we would have been having about 32% adjustment to bring you to parity. Not that you have been given more, but to bring you exactly to where you should actually be. The minimum wage is aimed at protecting workers against unduly low pay and ensuring a just and equitable share of the fruits of progress to all. In Ghana, it is the function of the National Tripartite Committee to determine yearly the daily minimum wage in accordance with Section 113 of the Labor Act 2003, Act 651. Chaired by the Minister of Employment and Labour Relations, the committee has five representatives, each from the government, organised labour and the Employers Association who negotiate. On this negotiating table this year, all the groups have their own issues to deal with. The government is cash-trapped and is at the IMF for support. Employers have high interest rates and an all-time high producer price inflation of 65.25% to battle with, and organized labor has been on the edge of a high cost of living. In all this, General Secretary of the Trades Union Congress wants compromises and concessions to be able to weather the storm. In the last few months, we have had situations where inflation is going up. We should all work together to make sure we are out of this workers, employers, and government. And we are hoping that 2023 will be a better year than 2022. Uh, it is on this note that I would like to appeal to all of us, workers, employers, and government, to continue to work together in the spirit of uh, peace so that we can get out of this. It is obvious this new wage does not mean much to the Ghanaian worker in these troubling times. And if it must mean anything, it's certainly not 14.88 Ghana cities.